Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. If not, as always, I hope it gets better for you. So, today I want to share with you guys something real quick. This should uh, definitely help me out in the fish room. And plus I got a few other things. So let's get into this. See here, I got a nice little stack of some uh, boxes that I got from Aquarium Co-op. Went through their website. Now this is not sponsored by them. He doesn't even know I'm making this video. But he had an item that I thought would be absolutely great for my fish room and help with breeding. And I started looking at the website for other stuff and I was like, yeah, let's check this out. Let's check this out. So let's break into these and I will show you what I got. And it looks like we got five boxes here. So let's start with box numero uno. shrimp hatch hatcheries the this brine shrimp hatchery this thing looks very functional and easy to use and this should help trigger some breeding in the fish room which will be nice because whenever adults know that there is smaller food around it can make them more apt to breed knowing that there'll be food for their babies so i'm guessing under our in box numero tuna is the same thing and yes, I said two no. Because that's what the co-op would say. If you've ever seen any of their unboxing videos. Yes, definitely another brine shrimp hatchery. Good to have two of them. That way I can have one going and then the other one. Going and just rotate them. And number three, no. And some of this stuff, I can't even remember what I got. Oh well, yeah, I figured I'd, I've never had one of these, the egg tumbler. Figure why not? Let's grab one. Maybe I'll use it someday. Looks like another is this product. I did go ahead and get their brine shrimp eggs. Corey swears by them. 90% hatch rate. Big jar, because, well, you need those when doing brine shrimp. One stop shop, might as well. And then, ah, breeder box. I thought this looked cool too. I forgot I got this. And it has like the mesh on the side. Now I've never been a fan of hang on breeder boxes, like the mesh ones. I've used them, tried them. I haven't really like really liked them. Because they would just get dirty and they would not flow water very well. But we'll see how this does. Looks like it has an airline and anything. So stay tuned, we'll be trying that. And box number four no. scatters I was gonna use this as a braiding media so people would normally use this in the filters but figured I could slap this in the corner of a tank somewhere of egg scatters and then hope for the best I thought that was a great idea and use for these I've got quite a few five or so five of them then I got some Fred's Clarifier. This is supposed to be for the cloudy water. Figured I'd try it because Fred's had some good guard stuff that saved me. And Aquashella, 
Uh, some of my fish, they just weren't doing well. Their skin coats got destroyed through the moving of them and then the new water and their guard actually saved my fish. So I'll try out their clarifiers, see how well that works. And then glass and acrylic cleaner. This was one of those impulse bites I figured I'd use because you can just use water or a little bit of elbow grease. You can use vinegar. But sometimes some of the stains are a real pain to get off if it's been a while since you cleaned them and it's been a long time since I've cleaned mine. So, I don't know, I figured I might try it. Why not? It wasn't that much. So I threw it in the cart. And yeah, box number 5 -oh. And box number five, no, five zero, oh, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and get this, the last box. Oh, okay, I got more of this stuff. Man, I must have really liked what I saw when I saw that film. I was thinking, Braden, Braden, oh, and I had to get these. I forgot about these. Ooh, now I didn't buy the discus one. He must have just threw that in as a freebie. But this one I did buy, the Blue Glorious. If you, some of you guys have been following me for a long time, no, I absolutely love Blue Glorious Killifish. One of my all-time favorites, so I had to get that sticker. And they sent me the discus one, so that was a good one. I'm sure they didn't even know this was my order either. What else did I get here? Oh, the aquarium salt. I'll need that for the brain shrimp. And then... Oh, Paraclin. So, figured I'd try this out. It says, say, velvet, skin flukes, gill flukes, wasting disease, hole in the head. Hmm. Put that in, and that should be it. That's what I got from the co-op. Decided to try some of this stuff. Mostly braiding items. Who knows, I might use that with something else. That's a good thing about that foam. All right, so now I just gotta clean up this mess, get this stuff put back. All right, so there you have it. There's a unboxing of some of the stuff that I would thought would be handy from Aquarium Co-op. And yeah, if you guys like this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That would show me that you guys like this. And also I will be bringing up videos on some of these products, especially like the brine shrimp hatchery, um, maybe the egg tumbler and the sponges and just some other projects that I'll be using with those and I'll keep you guys up to date and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this until next time everybody peace have a great one